going on there, YouTube? So, uh, show you what I got done today. So, I got this back wall mostly on. I'm gonna have to piece these in together up here at the top, which kind of sucks, but you know, it's doing what I can. And then I went level from this corner and here that's that's all the dust won't come in there there's a big gap it's about i want to say uh, probably 12 inches then i'm going to have to come in here and put dirt in here and i'm going to come that high in the back also there boom so i want it to get i want to get it pretty level over here so my floor, give you an idea how, that's a five gallon bucket of roof cement, pretty high back here. So uh, I'm going to bring the dirt in and I'm going to level it out and it's going to give me six foot eight to the top of that pipe right there. So I'll still be able to walk over here. I'll still be able to walk around in it over here, but it'll be close. And well, not too close. I'm six one, so I'll have seven inches to move around in. But uh, over here, I, I have uh, seven foot nine. And then in the middle, of course, it'll be. I have lots of room. So when I have a bike uh, up on the lift which is where I want to get to. I'll have plenty of room to uh, raise the bike up or bikes. But uh, yeah, this is where I'm trying to get to. A little 20 by 24 uh, shop and uh, all used material, all of it used material, um, second hand if you will. Um, from the bracing to the roofing to the beam to the pipes my uprights everything the only thing new is the screws I've bought all the screws which you know I've spent a few hundred dollars on screws already but I have to do a clutch job on my bike there I have a Honda Shadow. You can see the tail end down underneath the tarp there, bike cover. I got it work on yet. And then I have an Ironhead, a 78 Ironhead Sportster that I'm going to rebuild and uh, rebuild the motor and build the bike for sale. Um, of course, you know, I get to ride it a little bit, <laughs> but. That's the joys of working on bikes and doing what I want to do. Uh, just trying to get to the point where I can just do what I want to do, work for myself. My mom's here. This is Father's Day weekend, 2023. And uh, I got my first new grill. My mom and my wife went in and bought me a um, four burner grill uh a charbroil <laughs> it's the first new grill i've ever had so uh pretty awesome man pretty awesome that old christine there you know she's uh running good but the clutch is slipping so i'm gonna do a clutch job on it i did one about five years ago on it but i put some uh aftermarket uh friction plates in it and they didn't last very long, so it's slipping again. So I'm going to redo it. I'm going to put all Barnett this time. I have it already. I have everything, I, I believe. I have an oil change. I have the clutches and the steels and the pressure plate and the spring, all Barnett. I'm going to put in her. And uh, maybe she'll last me another five years, you know. I don't care. I'm, I'm real hard on clutches, though. But anyway... Uh, yeah, so the shop is coming along. Of course, I 
I built all my trusses and everything here is stick welded. And I told myself I was gonna stick weld everything on this shop and I've stuck to my word and I've stick welded everything. I hope uh, you fathers out there have a great Father's Day tomorrow. And um, God bless you, you know. Uh, we work hard and, and uh, well, most of us do. Anyway, uh, just hope you have a blessed day, man. God bless you. Bye.